I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Insight into Chemical Engineering. In this lecture series, we will solve the unsolved problem of a famous book Stoichiometry and Process Calculations by K. V. Narayanan. These lectures are helpful for chemical engineering students because it is a core subject for chemical engineering branch. During lecture, step by step solution will be provided. In this lecture, exercise number 6.10 to 6.11 will be covered. For more info, please visit my website www.chelearning.com. Please like and subscribe for motivation. Problem number 6.10 Air at 300 Kelvin and 1 bar containing 0 0.02 moles water per mole dry air is compressed and stored at high temperature that is 100 bar and 300 Kelvin for use in an experimental wind tunnel. How much water will condense in the high pressure storage vessel per 100 cubic meters of air compressed? The saturated vapor pressure of water at 300 Kelvin is also given. So in this problem, we are starting with 100 cubic meter of air at one set of temperature and pressure. Then this air is compressed under this high pressure. Some of the water vapor will get condensed. So we have to find the amount of water condensed. So first we will draw the block diagram of this problem. So we are starting with air and this air contains water vapor as well as dry air. So at the initial states pressure, temperature and volume is given. Pressure is 1 bar, temperature is 300 Kelvin and we are compressing 100 cubic meters of air. So pressure, temperature and volume are given. Now we are compressing this air. So during compression, the volume of this air will decrease. So after compression, volume got decreased and at this condition, pressure is given that is 100 bar and temperature is 300 Kelvin. Now after compression some of the water molecules or some of the water vapor they will get condensed and they will enter into liquid state. So during condensation some of the water vapor will go into the liquid state. So number of moles of water vapor will decrease in the vapor state. However, number of moles of air will remain same. Air means moles of dry air. That will not change because only water vapors are getting condensed. Pressure and temperature are given. Now we have to find the amount of water condensed. So in order to find this amount, we should know what is the initial moles of water vapor present in the dry air. Then at the last, partial pressure is given which is saturated vapor pressure. 
सो इन दिस वेपर स्टेट दी पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ वेपर इज गिवन सो वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज द डोल्टन स्लो सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट द टोटल मोल्स ऑफ एयर आउट ऑफ दैट वी विल फाइंड आउट हाउ मच वाटर वेपर इज देयर एंड हाउ मच ड्राई एयर इज देयर then using dalton's law we will find out the water vapors which are there after condensation then we can find out the amount of water condensed so we will find out the initial moles of dry air and water vapor before compression so this is the state before compression so here pressure temperature and volume are given so we will simply use ideal gas equation so n total will be equal to pv by rt so we will put all values p is 1 bar so we have to convert it to pascal that is 10 raised to power 5 pascal and volume is given 100 meter cube r is gas constant temperature is given so total number of moles is 4009.3 mole and also the ratio of water vapor and dry air is given so using this condition we can find out the separately the moles of dry air and water vapor so we can write 1.02 moles of air contain 1 mole of dry air so here 0.02 moles water vapor they are contained in 1 mole of dry air so we can see that if we will take the total moles of water vapor plus dry air so it will become 0.02 plus 1 so we can say that if the total moles of air is 1.02 so it will contain 1 mole of dry air and how much we have we have total 4009.3 moles of air so in that we can estimate the moles of dry air so that will be 1 divided by 1.02 multiplied with 4009.3 so this is the moles of dry air so we can write moles of dry air initially and we can also write moles of water vapor so moles of water vapor equal to total moles minus moles of dry air so this will be the moles of water vapor initially present so again we will draw the block diagram so this is our block diagram so after condensation in vapor phase mole of dry air will remain same whereas moles of water vapor will decrease because the dry air molecules are not getting condensed only water vapors are getting condensed so the moles of dry air will remain same before compression before condensation or after condensation only the number of moles of water vapor will change so now we have to find the moles of water vapor present in the vapor state after condensation for that we will use the dalton's law so as per dalton's law the partial pressure of water vapor divided by total pressure equal to moles of water vapor divided by total moles 
so further we can write this total moles equal to moles of water vapor plus moles of dry air and moles of dry air we have already estimated because moles of dry air will not change so we can put the values that is vapor pressure of water vapor is given at this particular temperature in the problem so this value is known and this p is total pressure the total pressure is also given that is 100 bar and dry mole of air we have already estimated in the previous slide so after putting the value of moles of dry air we will get this equation now in this equation only one unknown is there that is moles of water vapor we can solve it and we will find out moles of water vapor equal to 1.4 mole so we have estimated the moles of water vapor in the vapor state and we also know what was the initial moles of water vapor so before condensation we know what are the total moles of water and after condensation we know what are the moles of water in vapor state so simply we can estimate how much water got condensed so moles of water condensed equal to moles of water vapor initially before compression means how many moles of water vapor were present in the air before compression minus moles of water vapor present after condensation in the vapor state so this is the moles of water which got condensed that is 77.21 mole so we can find out the weight of water condensed by multiplying it with its molecular weight so finally we will get weight of water condensed equal to 1.4 kg problem number 6.11 a stream of gas at 302 kelvin and 100 kilopascal and this stream is 50% saturated with water vapor and it is passed through a drying tower where 90% of the water vapor is removed 400 cubic meters of gas admitted through the tower how many kilograms of water is removed and the vapor pressure of water at 302 kelvin is given so first again we will draw the block diagram of this problem so as per this problem there is a drying tower and we have a stream of gas and this stream of gas is available at temperature 302 and pressure 100 kPa and how much stream of air is entering that is also given that is 100 cubic meter it means volume is also given and this gas stream is 50% saturated with water and the vapor pressure of water is also given so this is the saturated vapor pressure of water at 302 kelvin so this is at the same temperature so it means the partial pressure of vapor is also given so in the drying tower 90% of water is removed so here we are showing the removed water 
suppose x mole of water is removed so finally here we will get the gas stream after the removal of water now we have to estimate the amount of this water removed so we know that we have a gas stream which is available at set of conditions so first we have to estimate the amount of water present in the gas stream if we know the amount of water present in the gas stream then we can easily estimate how much amount of water is removed that is 90% so using ideal gas equation first we will find out the total moles of gas which includes dry gas plus water vapor using ideal gas equation because temperature pressure and volume are given so here we want to find out the total moles so we will use total pressure instead of partial pressure of vapor so here pressure is 100 kilo pascal that is 100 kilo pascal volume is 100 meter cube temperature is 302 after solving we will get the total moles of gas now we will use the dalton's law because the partial pressure is given total pressure is also given and we have estimated total moles so easily we can estimate the moles of water vapor so using dalton's law partial pressure of water vapor divided by total pressure equal to moles of water vapor divided by total moles now we will put all values partial pressure of vapor is given that is 2 kilo pascal and total pressure is 100 kilo pascal and total moles we have estimated now there is only one unknown we can estimate the moles of water vapor now 90% of water is removed in the drying tower so we can take the 90% of 7.965 so water removed will be equal to 90% of the initial water so it will come out as 7.169 mole so we can estimate the weight of water removed by multiplying it with the molecular weight of water so finally we will get 1.29 kg